The government is under mounting pressure to scrap VAT on household energy bills amid a cost of living squeeze. Labour called for the tax cut, which could save on average £90 on bills next year. The Conservatives are becoming the high tax, high inflation party because they have become a low growth party. Today, they can take a straightforward step to show that they want to start breaking us out of that cycle. Voting for Labour's motion will allow us to bring forward legislation to cut VAT on household energy bills from 5% to zero for one year and reserve parliamentary time on the 1st of February to do just that. I'll give way to the honourable gentleman. Thank you, the honourable member for giving way. Uh, the Labour Party has spent the last six years campaigning against the very ability to do what they want today, which is Brexit. <laughs> right? Which is the only reason they are able to do what they want to do today. So, won't you be honest with the House and say, in the heart of hearts, what if she really wanted to go back into the European Union? This one measure they're proposing wouldn't be possible, would it? Yeah. I say to the honourable gentleman, we want to make Brexit work. We've got this power. Let's bring it in now. A VAT cut is something practical that this government can do right now, and it will be felt automatically in people's bills, in all of our constituents' bills. Boris Johnson last week described scrapping the VAT as a blunt instrument, saying it would help a lot of people who don't need support, although he did say that the UK now has the freedom to regulate its own VAT. He advocated for a VAT cut during the Brexit referendum campaign in 2016. Labour is capitalising on this by forcing through this vote on the motion. Conservatives aren't necessarily supportive. But today's motion is a cynical, it's got nothing to do with trying to save costs for consumers and everything to do with Labour trying to make a point about taking control of the order paper just like they tried to do during the Brexit debate to try and undermine the government and what they know full well is that the government cannot possibly accept such a cynical tactic from Labour so we'll have to vote it down without any consideration whatsoever. Whatsoever. She knows that. This is not about Labour trying to save consumers. This is just about Labour playing politics, isn't it? We've all become familiar with the term heating or eating when talking about the cost of living. While Labour's motion was rejected by 90 votes, with the increase of energy bills hitting households from April, this is a topic that will likely to stay in the minds of policymakers this year. Jane Warrell, NTD News, London.